There he is. You got one, Fred. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Tide's got the boat. And off and sailing. Let's turn the salt. It didn't go into a sailboat. And before we became the castaways, this is how it all started. Hope you enjoy it. Literally travelled a thousand miles. Oh yes! Look at the size of it! Welcome back to another episode. We are exploring the islands off the coast of Australia. We're two weeks into about a two month trip. Um, we found a group of islands that from the drone looks unbelievable there. Uh, looks like a mangrove system, there's a big blue lagoon, there's a sand flat, there's reef flat. It looks like there could be like mud crabs competing with crayfish in the same spot. And then all around the fringing reef around the outside there's sharks and stingrays and, and all sorts of cool stuff. So we've just pulled ashore, we're going to go for a walk. What are you hoping to see, friend? A blue ringed octopus. A blue ringed octopus. Yeah. That's very cool. Alright, let's go check it out. Forgot the mask. So this group of islands is actually a no take or a green zone, but we do have a, a little hand spear as a crocodile deterrent because there's a very likely chance that in one of these little estuary ponds over the back that there there could be crocodiles. So hence the, the spear that Fran is fashioning. Um, but we just want to see what, what's living here. These green zones are really cool basically like uh, generally a smorgasbord of marine life because there's been no human impact on taking them so we'll see what we can find check out the size of these black lip oysters that's awesome uh, so obviously fran speaks with a bit of a different accent to i do than what i do and i've just gone oh there's an eagle's nest up here let's go it sounds like there's a chick in there and i've never seen her so excited she goes Oh my god, a chicken in the eagle's nest! <laughs> so you ever seen someone attacked by an eagle? Keep watching. There's a little bird's nest. There's some impressive architecture that's gone into that. This is what an eagle's nest looks like. Is there anything in there? Uh, nobody's home. Is there a chicken in there? <laughs> Unfortunately, no chickens. <laughs> It's not eagle nesting season at the moment, so you know I want to be home, but I just wanted to show you what they look like. They set up a pretty comfortable bed up the top here, don't they? And with a view over the Great Barrier Reef, looks pretty comfortable. We might set up camp up here, friend, tonight. Little lagoon section down here that even at dead low tide holds a bit of water. Oh! Big giant clam closing to send off like a water fountain. Who are these spider conchers? We ate these the other day and they were bloody delicious actually. See in there? This is one way to escape the heat in the sun. Check this out. He's just got his head underwater. Trying to cool down, having a little snooze. I don't want to scare him, so I'll leave him sleep. That's so cool. Beautiful little green turtle, just sleeping on the reef flat. Just being very careful just to walk on the dead rock rather than the coral. So this is what I saw from the drone, there's this big blue lagoon like swimming pool that's closed off to the ocean at low tide. Um, we're going to jump in and have a look, hopefully it's like a, a real life aquarium. Let's check it out. The swimming pool goes around the outside like this. We're going to swim straight across that way. I 
it's a little bit murky because of course low tide all the water and silt of the reef gets pushed in but there's some cool fish There's a huge mangrove jack. This is incredible. It does feel very crofty though. Yeah. But now, the job is to catch a fish for lunch. Let's go fishing. Nice, friend. Is he on there? Yeah, yeah. That's our lunch. <laughs> yes! That didn't take long, friends. Just cast a popper out over a couple of bommies on this reef and um, bang straight away. Gold popper's done its job. Oh, it's got a bomb in the water. Phew. Is it? Spangled Emperor, is it? Spangled Emperor. Oh, Spangled yeah. Emperor. Draw it back here. Get it back here, friend. Yes! yes. Spangled Emperor! You! <laughs> On the popper. Good season. Yes! Oh, I better put some pants on. Gee. Nice fish. So, what do you reckon? Fill it him up. A bit of lemon juice. Lemon. Butter. <laughs> lemon and butter, having raw for lunch. Squeeze all the lemons on it, and give it, let it sit for about 20 minutes. That should cook it to a, a medium rare stage is what we've been enjoying. And um, then we'll get into it and that'll be lunch. The thing with this adventure, we've got no esky or a way to keep fish. So when we're hungry, we've literally got to catch a fish there and then, which Fran did, so thank you, Fran. Um, eat it as best we can. And then for dinner tonight, we'll have to catch something else. What's that behind it? Yes! Oh. What? Oh. oh! Oh! Pack attack of huge GTs. They've come and wolfed it. They've had about five goes at it. I've eventually hooked one. But it is way too big for this little rod. We're just trying to drive him off the reef here. Oh, he's a big fish. He's a really good fish. There was like three of them, full bodies out of the water, smashing at it. Classic GT, just fight up and down and just goes those head shakes. Let's see if we can get him up. Oof. On the lucky gold popper. That's the size of the GT I saw in the aquarium. In the aquarium, really? I didn't think I had any chance here. Good driving to drive away from the reef. Whoa. <laughs> What a fish! Have a go at that on the light rod. That's incredible. Amazing. Awesome, fun. How cool. There it is, beautiful giant trevally. I think this is literally the biggest fish that that light little brim rod can handle. But uh, we're going to throw him back. We've got more than enough. Thanks for the good times, mate. Ooh. Away he goes. How cool. How's the food anyway? Is it? So good. Doesn't taste like fuel at all. <laughs> That's our dining table, the front of the boat. Very fancy. Alright, hang on. And it looks like good white sand as well. Should be a treat on our little tootsies. Oh, how good is this anchorage in here? Perfect. And ahoy. So we've just arrived at what is going to be our home base for maybe three or four days here. All right, there's a, a 
big channel that runs through the middle of these two reefs here, which means there's going to be a lot of current and generally a lot of fish life. So we're going to jump in and see if we can hunt some elusive reef species that we don't normally see. fish life at this place is pretty special, but we've got to be super selective with what we choose to take. On this dive, as I relax into a free fall, I notice a shadow of a passion fruit trout hiding on this bit of coral. Quite typically, as soon as he sees me, he ducks for cover. Fran's got her heart set on a long nosed emperor that she's been hunting for quite some time now. On the way back to the boat, I spot the yellow outline of one of my favorite fish, the Maori sea perch, and I quickly make a dive. Oh, that's so good, Fred. Talk us through it. Were you chasing him for a while? Yeah, sure. <laughs> for an hour. We've been trying to hide. We had a bottom for five minutes. <laughs> and then I pretty much just shot it. So yeah. <laughs> this one is a passion fruit coral trout. And they have all these passion fruit dots on them. And they're a lot smarter than a normal trout. Oh, Very wow. steeper. Man, look at their colors. They're so cool, eh? Good job.
It's incredible. Wind's got up now, so it's going to be a rough run home, but it was worth it. <laughs> Pan just bloody heating up nicely there. <laughs> just perfect. <laughs> Sweet potato and potato chips. We've got a beer batter mix going here. Fish is about to get chopped up. Maori sea perch is entering the arena. Cheers, beer battered fish and chips for lunch. We've got the coral trout. Mary Sea Perch and Long Nose Emperor and some chips that are just cooked perfect, aren't they Fred? Let you know which one we reckon's best. So the verdict in so far, they're all good, but MSP, Mary Sea Perch comes out on top for this round. to um, Captain Morgan for the afternoon shift. As that sun sets, we're gonna get a pretty good sunset show. And we're out here for another, a fair bit of time still, eh? We've sort of two weeks into a two month adventure. So there's lots more of this sort of stuff coming and we did say to each other today, it almost it feels well and truly feels now like it's it's not a holiday, like this is, this is life. We don't know what day it is, what time it is. We're just going by the tides and the weather. So, which is really exciting. We're really getting to the swing of things. If you're enjoying it, there's heaps more to come. So this is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. As you can see here, we're just tiptoeing through the mangrove and underneath us, like half out of the water, there's mangrove jack the size of this and big cod. And we're just stalking through trying to trying to get a spear into enough for, for dinner. But this is, you can hear them all behind us here. There's some huge fish in like ankle deep water. It's incredible. Get them, friend. Oh, there we go the size of this one. He's gonna beach himself. Oh. Go on. <laughs> I'll catch you with my bare hands, dude. There's a cod like that big, we could've nailed him. But I think we want a mangrove jack. Did you hurt him? No, no, he just beached himself on the mangrove. He was like that big. Oh! <laughs> really? Yeah, I nailed a big jack. Yay! Just nailed a big jack. Oh! Heckles that on the hand spear through the mangroves. Have a go at that. Oh, wow. We've been seeing them just spook and um, run away from us. And I've just got that shot straight through there and actually stoned him, I think. How yeah. cool. Oh, that's wild. This is the most wild thing I've ever seen. It's crazy. Big one's gone in there. Oh, 
get him, get him. Between your legs. Oh, go for it. <laughs> you got him? What the fuck is it? Oh, you're everywhere. Oh, I thought you had him, eh? Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's huge, Brad. Big Jack. Oh, he's up in the shallows there. Go hard at him. Go hard and start stabbing. Yeah, go, go. You got him? Go harder, Fred. Pin him, pin him, pin him. Pin him. Oh, he's still there. Oh, this is the big Jack here. Look at him. He's freaking huge. He's making the mangrove shape. Oh, so close. <laughs> you get him? You get him? Fucking must have got it. Wait, hold, right hold it in there. You, you were right on it. So close. Hold it down. 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 You got it? You got it? I got it. I got it. You ready? You got to grab him. He's your fish. Pin him down. That wasn't going to come off, was it? I hope not. Oh no no, got it, got it, got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Grab me wherever you can. Yes, Fred, you go! Yes. Hi, nice, Fred. <laughs> Get your hands off I Oh, it's a, what's this? A... I think, I'm, Are you I, think right? I grabbed a shark, yeah. You should just talk, just hit here. Oh, you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bit you. No, that's heartbreaking, friend. That's a is jack or a cod. No, it's a jack. Oh, make sure you pin him down there. Yeah, yeah. What's that to the side? That's a cod. That's eh? a cod, but I didn't get that one. Oh, his cod's got himself stuck. He's got himself a mischief. You got that jack? Yeah, I got that jack. Right. I'm just sad about the other one. No, I think this is the one. No, because there's another one next to it there. There's so many. Jacks? Yeah. You see there's one here that I got and there's one right there. You can't see it with <laughs> Yeah. Well, I did, don't let this one get off then. But how do we get it? Oh. See there was another one there? That cod's got himself stuck. Oh hot pin him down for another one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Alright. See, there's another one. Another right one there. stuck in it. So I think there's like three jacks and one... a cod all pinned in this one spot. Hold him, friend. Oh, they lost it. Don't let him go. I got it. I got it. Fuck, make sure you're right. You got him proper now. He's proper got himself stuck here. Oh, hey. There he is. You got one, friend. <laughs> yeah. You did get him. Good job. No! <laughs> All right. Let's kill this fish and get out of this sand fly ridden hell. That is incredible. Hand picking Jack out of the mangrove. All right, we got dinner. Well done. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't let it go. Oh, Brandon, this place is incredible. It's like ankle deep water, and there's big jacks swimming through it. Wow. That is crazy. It's a shell? It's a shell, yeah. How cool is that? This size. Oh, that is incredible. It's one of them, it's just really small. This is the coolest place, but before we go, I just want to get some footage of these jacks, how they're all hiding in the shallow snags, undisturbed before we start throwing spears at them. I'll see if I can sneak in through the back here and get some footage. You've got to see it, it's so cool. Look these guys here.
You there you go. You here we go. Oh, see, look at them. It's alive with them. Just when you think there's none there, they start spooking. There he's there in the sun. See him in the sun there, bright red. That's what I wanted to see on these adventures. And that's one of the reasons of going camping for two months is to try and find areas where people don't get to and this kind of shit happens. So that's so cool. I do have to run now though, friends. Hurrying me up. Oh shit. Fuck. We've left it a little bit too long. Come around the corner. Tide's got the boat and it's off and sailing. Let's turn the salt, it didn't go into a sailboat. The anchor would be just be dragging along the bottom, which is hopefully slowing it down. But it's going to be a fucking long shit swim out there. And hopefully I can catch it. Alright, I think this is as close as I'm going to get to it as it's drifting away. There's a fish here for Fran. Sorry, Fran. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll see you out there. Unfortunately, no one was in the state of mind to get a camera out and film it. That's how that afternoon played out. But the good news is we're safe. The boat is safe. We live on. <laughs> Fran is safe. <laughs> and the great adventure, the great adventure continues. So we'll see you on the next one.